In this video, I will show you a few Rhino commands that can be very useful when we want to hollow out a 3D model. The first command that we are going to use is called shell. And with shell, we can um, select a face that we want to remove and also specify the thickness. I'm going to use 1.2. Um, this would be suitable for resin printing only, not powder printing. When I run the command, I can see uh, that my object has been hollowed out. It's still a closed poly surface, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to open another model and try the same command. So this is my second building. I'm going to try to use the same command, shell. I'll select the bottom face. But if you see, Rhino doesn't want to do it. Um, shell command only works with very simple solid objects, and this is not suitable for it. So we're going to use our second method. First, I'm going to create a circle in a suitable area where I can have um, a hole. Then I'm going to turn this into a cylinder by extruding it. Now I'm going to use the command split. I choose my object to split. The building, the cutting object is the cylinder. And now I'm going to remove the geometries that I don't need. And now I can see that I have a single surface of my building. So this is not yet suitable for 3D printing. I have to create a thickness. So I'm using offset surface. I'm going to select my whole surface. Make sure the orientation of the offset is correct. So I'm going to flip mine. Make sure you have solid yes. And I'm going to keep a distance of 1.2 millimeters. The wall is created with 1.2 millimeters of thickness and my model is ready to export into an STL format.